Well, hello there. Happy Monday. My name is Denise. I'm a stylist for Color Street. And today, you know, it's going to be another quickie because um, my my thing, I always do mixed manis and I've been trying to decide, you know, what I'm going to do today. And I had like different combinations and every other thing. And, you know, what I finally landed on is this one, which is called My Solar Mate. And what I love about this, besides the fact that it's got all the celestial stuff, it's just really, really pretty. But, you know, this is the whole set right here. This is everything as they come in the, uh, when you, when you buy them, this is how they come. So there's a different one on each finger. So, <laughs> and oh, what is this? What is this? Okay. Um, anyway, I, uh, was trying to find like a teal that would go or a deep blue that would go or a gold that would go. And you know, I had, I had a couple that were not the same tonally. They were similar, but not, I thought maybe Morganite Delight, but Morganite has more glitter glitter. And I wanted this to be, I wanted this one to be the star and the solid nail to be the supporting player. And it looked like Morganite or Chelsea later would have too much sparkle and that they would pull the attention. So you know what, I'm just gonna do this. So it'll be a fast one, but my nails are in so much better shape right now. I've been, I have to tell you, I've been using Orly Nail Defense and it's really helped a lot. Um, I think you could probably see on this one right there. I have, maybe it's better if I show you this way. Um, right in this area, I've got a little bit of peeling that's gonna emerge in the next day or two or a little while. And then this one has a little that's already growing out right there. That's not my nail, that's my base. I just messed up my base a little bit. But the rest of my nails, even my, my problem child, this one, they're all in much, much better shape. And I'm, I'm giving all the props to Nail Defense. And I also have um, Color Street's Ridge Filler on now. I was using the Color Street Strengthener, but for some reason, all of my nails were peeling and I was taking care of that with my nano file, which is this. And um, you can get them on Amazon. It looks very smooth. And when you, when you touch it with your finger, it's not particularly rough or scratchy, but what it does to your nails, and I keep forgetting to film this, but it fuses any of the peeling. It, it makes it so that when it grows out, they don't continue to peel. It just kind of fuses it all together um, so I'm really happy with the nano file. I love my nano file. And, um, so that's what I've been using. That's been my nail care routine for the last little while. Oh, is this going to be sheer? I can see my fingers through this. Hmm. Well, let's put it on and find out together. Yeah, this one is called My Solar Mate. I think I may have not said the name of this one correctly a second ago. It's My Solar Mate. And it's really pretty. I'm I'm in love with this. And look at how that perfectly fit on my binky. All right. And what I'm going to do is just um Put them as they are. So did everybody have a good 4th? My 4th of July was awesome. I was with my besties at their house in the Palisades. And it was just a really good day. Fun to catch up with people that you only see once a year. And as always, my, my friend's mother could open a restaurant. She is a fabulous cook. My friend herself could also, but um, that's not in the cards. They don't want to do that. <laughs> but it was just, based, you know, barbecue. But my friend and her mom make the best potato salad and it's not mayonnaise based. It's like, um, it's more vinegar based and there's, I don't know what all is in there, but it is fabulous. Well, there's definitely eggs. There's hard boiled eggs, but um, it's, it's just really 
It's the best salad ever. And I was trying to be good and not do my carb thing, but there's no way that I'm passing a potato salad on the 4th of July. Absolutely not. My good friend Stu, every once in a while when, you know, <laughs> we'll be getting these, you know, Facebook posts and it's like 48 days until potato salad <laughs> because it's just a highlight. It's a highlight of the year. So that was fun. And then Friday I worked, Saturday I worked, but Saturday afternoon, I don't know what happened. Oh, sorry. Look away for squeamish. This is actually dead skin right there. Um, I don't know what was going on with me Saturday. It was something I ate, but I actually came home early and uh, prayed a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to give you the gory details, but um, I didn't work Sunday. And for me to stay home on a Sunday, it had to be, you know. Well, and here's the other thing. I have to be 100% when I'm driving because I take people to the airport and, you know, to other places where they might need to be there at a certain time. And it's not like... You know, I'm so sorry. I, I know that we're on our way to the airport and I know you're pressed for time, but can we stop for a minute? I need a restroom. I can't do that. I have to just drive. I have to be 100%. So to stay home, especially on a Sunday, yeah, I had to. So I was not necessarily happy about that. But whatever it was, it ran its course, ran through me. And I'm feeling much better now, so... That's a good thing. And uh, I don't know if there's any Big Bang Theory friend, fans in the house, but um, whenever Sheldon Cooper was not feeling well, either his Mima or his mom or his girlfriend who became his wife, they would sing him a little song called Soft Kitty. And ever since my boyfriend and I got together, my boyfriend's a software engineer, so he's a bit of a, he's a bit of a geek. And he fell in love with Big Bang Theory from the get-go. And if none of you have watched it, I'm telling you, this show is geek humor, science humor, nerd humor elevated to high art. It is consistently hilarious. And my boyfriend told me that when he was watching the pilot, the main character, Sheldon, said something that sounded exactly like his college roommate. And from that moment on, he was hooked on the show. <laughs> so um, anyway, my boyfriend and I were talking on Saturday night and last night and, you know, oh, I'm sorry you don't feel well, baby. And, you know, usually I sing to him while he's doing his routine because we don't want to hang up yet, but he's busy brushing his teeth or whatever so I'm singing to him but oh my god look at this <gasps> love 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 but on uh Saturday night it was so cute just out of nowhere when we were just getting ready to hang up he sang soft kitty to me <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I love this man oh anchor method wait hold on let me try anchor this is the anchor where you put it on here oh it's sticky anyway Maybe I'm not doing it enough. Is it this better? And then you hold it like that and you put it on like so. And I guess in the first few times that I tried, it might feel awkward, which it just did. But I don't know, maybe I'll get used to it. Because for this one, I mean, it's already sticking to my fingers, so I don't know if I, I have to watch, I have to watch Marie do it more <laughs> right before I, I do a mani because I really want to get it down. If it's going to help me with the stickiness of the strips, then yeah, I need to do it. I want to do it. So, all right, there's that. So yeah, that was my uh, my Thursday, Friday, and most of Saturday were good. Saturday evening and Sunday were kind of like hibernating. 
Okay. Now this one will go on my index. Oh, and the thumbs are different. Do I wanna do that with the thumbs being different or do I wanna, I don't know, let me figure that out in a second. Oh, and look at that, I went right back to the non-anchor. All right, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess we are creatures of habit at heart, are we not? Don't you dare fold over. Okay, that one worked. Oh, fling my hair out of my way. I'm having a love-hate relationship with my hair lately too. Um, I've always had long hair. I've loved my hair long my whole life. Look at my high school graduation shot and there I am super long hair and I have cut it in the past up to my shoulders and every time I cut it I regret it because I missed the length but the last couple of summers I've just been so hot under my hair and I keep thinking maybe I need to finally just say you know what you're in your 60s do so you really need long hair but why what does age have to do with anything ever you know, I mean, just because I'm getting older doesn't mean that I have to cut my hair. So, I don't know. I don't know. But it definitely does need a trim, I think. Oh, did I just mess up my index? Oh, no, it's just the star. Okay. You know what I think I'm going to do with the thumbs? I think I'm going to do both of my thumbs with these because they match the pinky. And because there's this star right next to it. And I know I'm overthinking it, but it's what I'm going to do. So here we go with the thumbs last. So yeah, anyhow, my boyfriend has a fabulous mustache. And he's had it, like, he doesn't grow a full beard, but he'll grow like a goatee or sometimes like the must, like a handlebar, the mustache will connect to the goatee. Um, and it really does suit him very well. He looks really good with the mustache. And so our agreement is I cannot cut my hair and he cannot shave his mustache without must, much discussion. And the discussion usually involves lots of pleading. Please don't do it. <laughs> so. I mean, at the end of the day, if I really wanted to cut my hair, we, we did talk about this once when I was like, like on the bubble. And he said, baby, if you want to cut your hair, cut your hair. It's really okay. I'll, I'll get used to it. <laughs> it was just so cute. And I said the same thing. And one time he did shave his mustache off and it really totally changed his face. I love this man regardless, it doesn't matter. But the mustache definitely suits him, so I don't know. I think about cutting my hair though. There we go. Last one. Oh, and even this thumb, I forgot to tell you, show you this thumb. It's almost totally grown out. That little divot in the middle. It's pretty much totally flat now. And I don't see any more growing out from the cuticle area either. So I think I really truly am well and finally done with the divot and I couldn't be happier. Oh, I messed that one up a little, didn't I? Okay, let me get my file. If you ever do what I just did and like it gets shredded on the side, get a file. This one is relatively 
rough grit, but just run it along the part where you messed up and it'll just smooth it out. And I do have a tiny bit right here. Go away. Nope, there's a tiny bit more right here. That's better. And then I'm just gonna, with the smoother, there's this rough, rougher side and a smoother side. I'm gonna just kind of go like that and then down. Get off of there, come on. Thank you. Now what I do have, I have the skinniest one. Yeah, maybe I could just cut a little. Where are my scissors? Oh, I put them back where they belong. <laughs> okay, maybe I could just cut a tiny bit of this. Just down the side. Let me see if that fixes it. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to do was I want you guys to pick my next Manny. What do you want me to, what, what do you want to see for my next one? Do you want me to do a all solid, all glitter, mixed, only retired, only current? Um, I don't know. Tell me what you want me to do and I shall make it so. Yeah, you know what, that worked. I mean, I can tell tell that there's purple here and there's more blue on the rest, but no one else will know. Ah, love, love, love. Okay, I know this was a quickie, but yeah, and this is also my hair. I have <laughs> super long hair. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna ask you guys what you, th well, I don't know. I mean, if I'm on the fence about something, my modus operandi my whole life has been, when in doubt, do nothing. So for now and for, oh, I don't know, the last couple years, I've been doing nothing when it comes to my hair besides just trimming it every once in a while. And I will freely admit, I got bonked over the head by the awesome hair fairy when I was born. <laughs> I also got bonked over the head by the big butt fairy, <laughs> big butt fairy, and the big belly fairy, and, you know, so I love my hair, I really do, but sometimes I wonder if I couldn't do more with it if it was shorter, you know, so I don't know. How did you guys deal with your hair thing? I mean, did you guys ever cut it and then regret it like me, just sealing this up? And as always, I have it this way so that I can read the name of the of the polish. Because if you flip it over when there's a dark polish on against the dark background, you can't read it. So, all right. And this, by the way, also is my cheap $10 Amazon flat iron. I actually have two. I have this one that I keep over here. And the other one is in my go bag so that when I travel, I don't have to, you know, find my, my, uh, I don't have to worry about packing it. It's already packed. So I guess that's it for now. What's my next Manny? You guys tell me. And um, I guess that's really it for today. Um, have a happy one. And thanks again for watching. Yeah, this one is a little sheer. When you put it next to the red. Well, I guess next to this one and that one. Life is beautiful. <laughs> I'm not overthinking. All right. I will see you soon. Bye.